right after the shootings, almost immediately within, you know, a couple of days, people started sending stuff, letters and cards from people kind of expressing their shock, their horror. I mean, I, I kind of see it. I feel like uh, the world is moving on. We in Newtown, we can't forget it. You know, it's part of our day-to-day -day lives. I just want people to keep talking about it. Uh, my name is Ross McDonald. I live in Newtown. I've lived in Newtown for 17 years. Uh, I'm an illustrator and a designer. Well, the stuff runs the full length of the building from that entrance to this entrance along both sides of the hall. Banners, there's cards, there's tiny little notes from children. It says, to the residents of Newtown, we grieve with you. We, along with the world, are very saddened by this terrible tragedy that has unfortunately taken the early lives of all of those beautiful little angels. These cards and letters, when you read them, I mean, they're incredibly raw reactions. I am very sorry that your friends died. I am coming up with ideas to make schools safer. 21, 15, 2012. And this, I think he just sent in on his own. It's not from a school. You know, it's generally the ones from kids that get me, you know. Being able to see the incredibly powerful reaction this event produced in, in the people around the world, I think will really give people an incredible picture of, of how powerful this event was. To my mind, it would be a real shame to destroy this stuff. Future generations are gonna wanna see this stuff. We start with some stuffed animals. My name is Chris Kelsey. I'm typically the assessor here for the town of Newtown. Um, letters and cards and all the artwork, that's all going to be part of a permanent memorial. Um, a lot of that will be incinerated and the ashes will be mixed into the concrete or bricks or whatever we decide to do for a memorial. They're trying to do the right thing by it, absolutely. It's also very difficult for the people who work at the town office to have to see it all the time. It wears on you emotionally, um, physically. If, if someone outside can help to preserve this stuff, I know that they would be absolutely on board. Okay, well my name is Dan Cruson. I'm the town historian for Newtown. Yeah, the material will be there if people want to access it, but it's not something that's gonna be forced, and it shouldn't be. I mean, there should be a time left to heal where they're not continually reminded of it. You know, I, it's not like my mission is to make people feel bad or constantly be sad, but I just think that, you know, in some ways there's a danger that some of that shock and horror is going to be forgotten. After Sandy Hook, no one in America had the right to not have an opinion. This was a world event. It was, it's part of world history. It's part of American history. and. You know, we need to preserve as much of it as we can. These are historic documents. If we don't have these reminders of what happened, then I, you know, the danger is it's going to happen again. Mm -hmm.